Just turned it on one side. Yeah. You hear me? You understand? Yeah. I'm trying to be yeah. really sincere when I'm talking to you. And I want to talk to little one again. Little one doesn't want to talk. Don't want to talk anymore. No. It was around two personalities within Ronald Jebson that his fantasies were built to take two children off the streets to something that he had prepared and fulfill his fantasy. Sexual gratification, the deaths, the killing, the control over two young children and the horror that he was causing, that was important to him. Two and a half years into the investigation, there was still no result. In August 1998, the case was being wound down when Jebson called from prison. He said he wanted to confess to killing Gary Hanlon and Susan Blatchford. Declan Donnelly took him back to the cops, where the babes in the wood had been found. His confession was recorded on audio tape. I came up, up here, and I parked the car. And we've got to walk down a bit. saw this open gateway. We went across these fields and stopped at a copse. Inside the copse, my aggressive nature started showing. Susan didn't want to play, nor did Gary. Gary sat there, not knowing what to do, as I had Susan's jeans down and unders. I was sitting on the stomach. Didn't give a damn. Thought middle of nowhere. No one can hear the screams, no one can hear anything. After I finished with Susan, Gary said he wants to go home. I said, you're going nowhere. And he went for me, so I used him. I then raped him. I stayed there, having me fun with them both, until two, three o'clock in the morning. They were both dead. I put them close together, maybe a foot between them, and left. I was a bad evil run that night. While we were walking to the uh, cops, Jebson was tense, was nervous, and when I finally asked him to enter the woods, he wouldn't do it. I'm, I'm not entering here. the woods again. I'm You're not? Are you? Yeah. Why is that? I am. Why are you superstitious? Right? Always happy. What of? Spirits. Yeah. You're afraid there might be ghosts there? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And who's ghosts? Going in there? Gary and Susan. No way am I going in there. I wouldn't even go on the field where I buried Rosemary. Okay. His greatest fear was the ghosts of those two children. And that is where we concluded the interview. For the families, there was yet more to endure. Susan Blatchford's body was exhumed for forensic tests. Photographic evidence then confirmed the crush injuries to her stomach that Jebson described inflicting. It was a telling detail only the murderer could have known. You've got to go through it to really understand how really wicked he was to two children. And all he's got is back in his own cell. Well, I don't know, dear. I don't know how he slept all them years. In May 2000, 30 years after the event, Ronald Jebson pleaded guilty to the double murder at the Old Bailey. He was given two further life sentences. Jebson undoubtedly enjoyed his game with the police, but many felt his confession contained a final, heartless twist. 
this was something that would enhance his reputation. Confessing to two more murders, I'd done another two. And he wanted his esteem to be gratified uh, amongst his fellow paedophiles. I don't think there was any remorse there, but I'm pleased for the family. I'm pleased after 30 years that Beryl and Muriel have seen some justice. Relatives from both families attended the trial, looking for some final sense of closure. But the truth in all its detail brought new anguish. Gary tried to defend the girl and he knocked him out. Then he had sex with him and strangled him while he was having sex with him. That, 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 that was it. His sort of thing, you know, what he done. That's what he did to children. For me, it's been worse since I actually knew. I knew he'd been murdered, but I couldn't cope with knowing he'd been, he'd been touched by somebody. Ronald Jebson will spend the rest of his days behind bars. On average, eight children a year die at the hands of predators such as Jebson. Pedophiles will block out uh, anything that they don't want to remember. That's the only way they can then live with what they've done. But it also seems very tragic that the authorities tried to suggest all the time that this wasn't murder. So the lesson to learn here is that in cases of this kind, we should never let the trail go cold. Nipper Reed came up to the old Bailey when we went and he kissed me on the side of the face and he said, we was right, wasn't we, Beryl? I said, yeah. If you've been disturbed by or relate to the issues in this programme and would like to talk to someone, call our confidential helpline on 0800 328 5678. Lines are open till 2am.